Hello, my loves. Welcome to Kara's Cucina. I'm Kara DeFalco, and on this channel, we do free online cooking classes every Wednesday. Today, we are celebrating summer, and I am going to show you how to make both red and white sangria. So both of these recipes, recipes, I'm gonna really put that in quotes because of the story I'm about to tell you. Uh, the red one is my father's version and the white one is my aunt's version, his little sister. And getting them to actually give you a recipe for anything is kind of like pulling teeth. So in terms of amounts, really the bottom line, my aunt said it best is, Part of the fun of making sangria is you taste it as you go and you adjust things as you need. So I'm gonna give you guys uh, a good idea of where to start. And then of course, as always, as I always tell you on this channel, you make your food and your drinks your own way. So if you wanna add something in, a little more of this, a little more of that, by all means. So in both pictures, we have one uh, regular sized uh, bottle of wine. So not the jumbo bottles of wine or anything crazy like that. And it should be a wine that you like. So I'm not gonna tell you what kind of wine to buy, but a red wine that you typically white like, and then a white wine uh, that you would drink as well. So as always, same thing when you're cooking with wine. Don't buy cheap wine or wine you don't like because you think you're gonna dress it up. That flavor is still gonna be there and you're probably not gonna like your sangria. So to our red one, we're gonna add in orange juice and I'm putting in about a half cup. But again, we're gonna stir everything and taste it. We're also gonna add in a half cup of brandy. And then we're gonna top this one with a lemon lime soda. And again, really just looking for about a half cup there as well. I'm gonna give it a little stir. And I am gonna grab a spoon and taste, and then we'll add some fruit. So after tasting and adjusting, we put in a little bit more of everything. So of course, the written recipe will be at caradefalco.com. But once you have it to the flavor that you want it to be, we're also gonna add in some ice. Make sure it's nice and chilled. And for our red sangria, the fruit that I'm gonna add in is gonna be some oranges and I have some great fresh strawberries here as well. So we'll get some of that in there. And what's great about this, um, particularly for a party, is really, um, especially with the fruit, the longer it kinda sits and hangs out in there, the better it all gets. Um, and certainly if you wanted, if you had blueberries, you could throw some of those in there. Um, if you had red grapes, you could use some of that. So we'll get this one stirred up and set aside. And now we'll make our white sangria. For our white sangria, I'm using a Sauvignon Blanc wine, but again, it can be Chardonnay, it can be Pinot Grigio, it can really be whatever you want. And what we're gonna add to that is going to be peach nectar. And I'm gonna add in some peach schnapps as well. Although again, Aunt Mary says you can use a peach flavored vodka because she had some of that in the house. Actually, her best description was what my family calls it. It's the jumbot of alcohols, which basically means whatever the family has in the house, it all winds up in the sangria. And uh, again, you just keep tasting it till it works out really well. So we'll get that in there. And then this one, I actually have a melon peach soda that I'm gonna top it off with. And again, we'll give it a stir and taste. That one's perfect. Once again, once you have your white sangria to the flavor you want, we'll get it some ice. And for this one to go along with that peach nectar that we put in there, I also have some uh, fresh peaches and we're still gonna add in those oranges and strawberries as well. Serve your sangria to all your crazy boozy friends at your next holiday or summer barbecue. That is it for this week in the Cucina. Salute.